Democratic candidates for governor and U.S. Senate have grown their lead in the Marquette poll over the last month. The question now, will all that momentum hold until November? Charles Benson here to break it all down for us, Charles. And that election is seven weeks from today, but we are starting to see some trends on what voters are thinking and who they want in office. So let's first go to the governor's race. Democrat Tony Evers is up by five percentage points. He is leading Governor Walker 49 to 44 percent among likely voters. That is the biggest lead in a MU poll for a Walker opponent since 2012. Now, in the U.S. Senate race, the lead is even bigger for Democrat Tammy Baldwin. She's leading Republican Leah Vukmir by double digits, 53 to 42 among likely voters. Who is backing Baldwin? Well, both candidates have strong support among their base, but Baldwin leads among independents. Does this mean Wisconsin will be part of a blue wave? Well, it's too early to say for sure, but there are some signs. There's some national forces that at the moment look like they're pushing a little bit more in a democratic direction than they were earlier in the summer. Trump's job approval numbers coming down is the most important of those. By the way, two years ago at this time, voters in the Marquette poll suggested Democrat Russ Feingold was beating Republican Ron Johnson by several points. However, Johnson ended up winning that Senate race by four points. Coming